Welcome back guys. There has been an exciting new update to SkyTrack Plus and GS Pro. So there is a new community created connector called OpenSky Plus that finally allows for putting with SkyTrack Plus and GS Pro. This connector has been out for a few weeks now and I've had the chance to test it out and try it. And in that time, there's also been another SkyTrack update to version 4.4.7, which I was able to update and then reinstall the OpenSky Plus connector and confirm that it still works. So we're gonna demo it out and show you how putting can work with SkyTrack Plus and GS Pro. Let's go. GS Pro, I'm in practice mode, on course practice, and I'm at the night range because the greens are perfectly flat. Let's just show you SkyTrack Plus putting. I've got a uh, 20 foot putt here. Did I do it? I did it. Perfect, so I've actually found that the putting speed is, I feel right on the mark. Feels just like putting in GS Pro with my Foresight GC Quad. I think the speed is down. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Let's try and go to like a shorter putt just outside of this five foot gimme circle. Got a six and a half foot putt here and see how it does with one of these little touchy putts here. Yep. Very good. Now, I have come across a little bit of a problem. This is my regular putter. It's a TaylorMade Spider GT, and it is pretty much all white. And I think that is the problem. This only happens with short putts. Yeah. So that was it. That kept happening to me while I was playing and I'd get to one of these short putts and the ball just takes off and flies 60, 70 yards in the air. That one actually hit the pin, so it went backwards, but you can see it's got ball speed of 66 miles an hour and I just barely tapped it for a six foot putt. And I believe it is because I'm using this all white putter and whenever I make a short putt, the putter kind of stays in the hitting area pretty much the whole time. It's a tiny little stroke. I tried to recreate it using other putters I have like this one which only has white on the face and everything else and I've tried a couple others that I have that really don't have any white on them at all it never happened with any of the other putters except for my all-white tailor-made spider that probably has nothing to do with the open sky plus connector that might just be something to do with the SkyTrack plus seeing all the white there and confusing it with the ball just something to keep your eye on if you have a white putter on top of being able to putt now with SkyTrack plus this new connector has also really improved the chip with the SkyTrack Plus. I've got several playing videos where I struggle with basically no reads inside of 10 yards. If I'm just off the green inside of 10 yards and tried to chip from there, SkyTrack Plus would just not read it with the old connector. With this new one, I've seen a huge improvement. It's really picking up the smallest chips. I got one here just off the green, eight yards, and it's downhill a little bit. So a very touchy little chip. Show you how much it's improved here. Yeah, there you go. That one read perfectly. I'll even leave one here intentionally short just to show you that it's actually doing even better than that. So that one should be short. Yeah, just a little pop onto the green and it's working great. This version is a much more playable version to use with GS Pro. You're not gonna have issues with chipping and you can actually putt. You don't have to use auto putt anymore. Now, I know some of you are gonna ask and the answer is yes, you should have the SkyTrack Play and Improve subscription to be able to use this connector with GS Pro. The users that created this connector decided to make that a requirement. They kind of described it as a way to do the right thing and hopefully get SkyTrack on board with becoming officially integrated with GS Pro. That said, a lot of users are reporting that they have not had to have that subscription for it to work, including myself. Not sure why, but we're seeing other people report that it didn't work until they got the subscription. So try that however you want. And again, with any of these launch monitors that are not officially integrated with GS Pro, I always give the warning that use it at your own risk. You never know when something like that's gonna change. The launch monitor company will come out and require their own subscription that's higher price than you're willing to pay or anything else. You never know what could happen. No guarantee that it's gonna work forever. Use it at your own risk. Now, if you're interested in using this connector, I'll put a link to whatever you need down in the video description. Basically, the best place to get started is in the 
Simulator Golf Tour Discord channel. There's one set up for SkyTrack Plus. You can find everything you need there. I'll also put a link down there to my website where I've kind of just taken all of that and put it into a step-by-step -step process. It's the same information you're gonna find on the Discord. You know, use whatever you want. The Discord is gonna be the best place for troubleshooting and actual help if you get stuck on one of the parts getting it installed. So that's it guys, exciting stuff with SkyTrack Plus. Like I said, it's much more playable now and hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.